Since coming to power in the late 2012 after the death of his father Kim Jong-il, North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un has continually sought to consolidate his power. One of the young leader's methods is to instill fear among his inner circle by purging and executing close aides. Our Connie Kim delves into the effectiveness of his methods and how he is seeking to stabilize the regime. On December 13, 2013, North Korea announced that Kim Jong-un's uncle, Chang song taek who was then regarded as the second most influential man in North Korea, had been executed. Experts say Chang's removal successfully consolidated Kim's position after taking power in late 2012. Back then, Kim's execution of Jung song taek was an extreme method to take control of the regime for 20, 30 years. It was also to prevent any potential uprising against him. The North Korean leader's elimination of his top aides continues. He had Hyun young Char, the country's defense chief, executed in April, and recently sent another of the nation's core elite, Workers' Party Secretary Choi dong hae to a rural collective camp for so-called re-education. The Seoul Base Institute for National Security Strategy believes nearly 100 high-ranking North Korean officials have been executed since Kim took power some three years ago. That's ten times more than his father, Kim Jong-il, had executed during the first four years of his rule. Some experts say that while Kim Jong-un's use of fear politics could generate backlash among officials, North Korean citizens' support for the young leader could contribute in stabilizing the regime. Kim Jong-un is trying to win the minds of his people by boosting the regime's economy. Support among his people is the most important issue for Kim. And this is why analysts believe Kim will focus on helping its people live in better economic conditions, possibly making it one of the key agenda items at the ruling Workers' Party's biggest Congress in May. Connie Kim, Arirang News.